What's up, Eagles Nation? What's going on, NFL world? How you doing, division rivals? This is Steven Heider with Gate City Sports Channel, the sports channel where the cerebral NFL fan comes for about 10 minutes of daily content. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whenever it is you guys get around to tuning in. Once again, my name is Steven Heider, and this is Gate City Sports Channel. Guys, if you're wondering why I'm dressed like, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah, bro, this is North Carolina for you guys, man. Ever since I left the, you know, Philadelphia area, Newcastle, Delaware, guys, you know, I got to be real with you. One day in North Carolina, you might need a sweater, and the next day in the spring in North Carolina, you might want to have your beach visor ready. So I'm just ready for whatever I'm about to walk out into out here, man, because boy, oh boy, things are going crazy here. All right, y'all. So today's topic. A, we all, a lot of us, I won't say I won't say we all, but a lot of us were calling for Will Parks to be signed with the Philadelphia Eagles. We all talked about like the you know available defensive backs that were out there, and as guys started, you know, as, as the dominoes started to fall, one of the guys I think that stayed on the radar of most fans was Will Parks. And today's topic, guys, I'm going to break down the play of Will Parks. I'm going to talk about what his versatility means to the Philadelphia Eagles because we got a guy who's played right cornerback, he's played nickel cornerback, and he's played both safety positions, both free and strong. We're going to talk about what I think the Eagles envision him as. We'll talk about what I think his best position is. And then we'll just talk about what does he add to us? What, what does he add to the versatility of this defense? Like, what does he bring to the table? All right, y'all. Stay tuned in because uh, we're about to get into it, y'all. All right, y'all. Will Parks coming your way right now. Um, today we're going to open up 1989 Pro Set Series 2, which is going to have your Deion Sanders rookie, your Barry Sanders rookie, Troy Aikman, Look at that. Gate City's bringing you some ASMR for all us football collectible junkies out there. Now, nah, guys, this is a um, this is a channel called Cardboard Carolina, guys. They do sports collectibles. And he hit me up and told me, look, if you guys go sub him up and leave Gate City inside of the, the uh, comment section, he's going to give away four Eric Allen rookie cards. And he said he might also give away a Deshaun Jackson. So you got to leave your, you know, leave Gate City Sports Channel, sub him up. In order to qualify for it, guys, pretty sweet deal. He's a Philadelphia Eagles fan, just like we are. So, uh, hey, if you're into sports collectible, guys, go show him some love, y'all. All right, y'all. Cardboard Carolina, I'll link it down below, okay? All right, guys, let's return back to our regularly scheduled programming, and let's talk about Will Parks. All right, guys, let's play a game called Where's Will Parks Lined Up on the Football Field? Guys, I personally, I really like, I really, really like the Will Parks signing for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's versatility, and he's a guy that he played a lot of snaps, even though if you went and looked, you would say, oh, he only started like four or five games. Like, he played a lot of snaps, guys. And I got to tell you, if you go back and look at that Week 15 matchup against Kansas City, anytime Will Parks <laughs> wasn't lined up against Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill killed the Broncos. Go look at that touchdown pass that Tyreek Hill got over um, Chris Harris Jr. Bottom of your screen, guys, you'll see Chris Harris Jr. waves for safety help. Got to jam him at the line. This is what I like about this kid is the versatility. Look, it's a no-risk, one-year, small contract. High, you know, high reward with pretty much low risk. You can get out of this contract with very little effect here. Um, if you want to compare this kid to the other free agents that were available. So the two that like I really kind of caught wind of and I, and I was looking at were Von Bell Tony and Tony Jefferson. You can also go Clayton Gaithers, who was available for a while, but you know, Von Bell, even if you look at Von Bell, who played, I think, started in 13 games this year, played in 13, he had a 68.6 completion percentage against them, right? And then Von Bell had a QBR rating of 98.9. Not bad. Von Bell's physical, he plays in the box, he's young, he's right around the same age as Will Parks, certainly gives you more games started. Don't get me wrong, but you're going to pay a lot more for him. Go look at Tony Jefferson, another young guy. What's he, 26, 27 ish? Somewhere in area 28. I mean, he's somewhere between 26 and 28, right? Tony Jefferson. Str you know, prototypical strong safety. He only played in five games because of injury this year. Had a 57.1% com completion percentage against him. And then gave up 141 QBR rating. Five games. Excuse it a little bit. Probably would have brought that back down towards a, you know, a norm of 100. But nonetheless, not the most, not the most um, productive season coming out of Tony Jefferson. Definitely gives you room for concern, right? To sign a guy coming off a knee injury, QBR rating 141, like, you know, that. come on, guys. Then you go look at a guy like Clayton Gaithers, right? 
Another young guy, 79.2% completion percentage. Quarterbacks are damn near completing 80% on him. Uh, 128 QBR. I just, you know, Will Parks, 57% completion percentage against them. I think he had a 94 QBR rating against them. I think it's a really good signing. I think you can look at it, if you only look at his game start and not his snap count, not his versatility given, you could be misled to think like he just doesn't have enough playing experience, but it's just, you, you know, look at his caps, his, you know, snap count. He played a lot, guys. I mean, this is a football player who got a lot of, you know, reps. And... Yeah, I mean, this isn't a splashy signing, guys. I mean, you're not getting Earl Thomas. Don't get me wrong. Who wouldn't want a guy who gives up 44% you know, of completions and has a 24 quarterback rating? You're also paying $14, 15000000 million for Earl you know, Thomas. Anthony Harris gave up 65% completion percentage, so a little higher on that end, but his QBR rating against was only a 442 you know, you go look at a guy like a, uh, a Juan Thornhill, the other safety out there in Kansas City, 46% completion percentage, 43 overall QB rating, right? You can look at Teron Matthew out there in Kansas City, 56% completion percentage against them, 57.8 QBR rating, right? Those guys are going to cost you a hell of a lot more money, guys. Well, Juan Thornhill, you probably have to trade for, and that's going to really cost you. You know, you go look at a guy like Tashawn Gibson. 54% completion you know, percentage, 55 QB, QB rating. Yes, guys, these guys are all good football players. Jamal Adams, 55% you know, completion percentage, 75 QBR rating against them. No doubt these guys would have given you credibility that maybe Will Parks doesn't give you right away. I still like the Will Parks signing. I still think he's it's a sneaky good signing, and I think he's a sneaky good player. And I just want to show you the versatility of this kid and just how much the Denver Broncos trusted this kid, Vic Fangio, Fangio, whatever his name is, trusted this kid in coverage. All right, so I'm going to drop in some film here for you guys. All right, guys, top of the screen, lined up in the slot against Tyreek Hill. All right, guys, we said we wanted to get faster this offseason, both on offense and on defense. And what Will Parks is going to give you is speed. This is a kid that... <laughs> the Denver Broncos looked at it and said, okay, you, man press, situation, Tyreek Hill, go take him out of this football game. You can see, once again, in the slot, one-on-one -on -one with Tyreek Hill. I mean, it speaks volume to the type of player he is. Now, do I expect that type of performance on a weekly basis? No, it's pretty hard to shut down Tyreek Hill on a weekly basis. But the fact that the, you know that he was able to go out there for that game and play so well against Tyreek Hill... To me, it was just, it's, it's eye-opening to see it on film, guys. And I don't know where the Eagles plan to play this kid. I, I just think the Eagles are really into versatility at this point. So I think you'll see things with the Eagles like to where they might have, you know, possibly Jalen Mills down in the slot. Maybe they'll have, you know, Will Parks, you know, down in the slot. Craven LeBlanc. Maybe they're going to have, you know, Avante Maddox. They're going to play matchups. Avante Maddox and Will Parks gives you a lot of speed, guys. You know, maybe one day they got, you know... Uh, Rodney McLeod playing back deep as a free safety. Maybe they got Jalen Mills the next game. Maybe the final game they got Will Parks. I mean, the versatility you can have there. Injuries occur. You can easily bounce guys out to, to, to play opposite of Slay, right? You can take a guy like Jalen Mills and have him come in for a game or two and play outside if you have to have him play outside. Same thing with Will Parks. It, it's this versatility that he's going to bring to the football game, or the football team, my bad, guys. That makes me the most excited for what might be on the horizon with this particular player. And look, this kid just, he stands out, man. He stands out on film for just how versatile and athletic of a football player he is. And that's something we just haven't had in Philadelphia really in quite some time, guys. And let's be honest, tight coverage and turnovers are something we have to have occur this season. We've got to create more opportunities for this offense going in, you know, to the season. We got to get Carson Wentz opportunities to put up big time points on the football field. Under a hit from Will Parks on Jordan Villeman. He's been waiting for him coming. Guys, I also love the fact that this kid is a Philadelphia native. He played in high school at Germantown High. Like, hey, according to to uh, Philly Fresh, he, he probably was one of the last kids to play there before the school closed down. So, you know, I like this kid a lot. The fact that he took less money to come back home to play. 
he probably could have gotten more guaranteed years, actual higher dollar value for what he was. But because he is a Philadelphia kid, there was nothing more he wanted than to wear that midnight green, to suit up with that eagle on his helmet. And guys like that, with a chip on your shoulder, <laughs> I'll take a chance on a one-year contract with them every single time. I just feel like this kid is really going to go out there and try to ball. This is a kid that I think has the, you know, harder task in front of him to stay long-term on the Eagles. However, man, he just seems like a kid when you watch film, he's good in coverage. He brings great versatility, and he's got a fighting instinct. I like the signing, guys. I like the signing a lot. All right, guys. We know where I'm at with this signing. We know I like this signing a whole, whole lot. Um, I want to know, what do you think about this signing? Where are you at on this signing of Will Parks? Do you think that this is going to go a long ways in helping us resolve our issues with safety? Now we'll add this caveat here, and I want you guys to weigh in on it. I don't think we're done. I honestly do not think we're done at safety. I still think there is a very high probability you could see a safety drafted. You know, I know it would make my boy Philly Mike's day if that was Jeremy Chin, but there are just, you know, I'm a big you know, fan of Anton Winfield Jr. You know, there's there are a lot of different safeties in this draft. I mean, this is a fairly decent, I'm not going to call it great, but it's a fairly decent safety draft this year. I really do think the Eagles need to take a chance here on a few of these guys and try to come out with one, you know. You know, Kyle Duggar would be unbelievable if you come out with that kind of guy, but probably not going to happen because of his value, where they have him valued right now. With that said, guys, this is what I think about the situation. I want to know your thoughts about the situation. And let's go ahead and let's close out this video the way Eagle fans do. We go a little something like E-A-G-L-E-S. All right, y'all. Let's go, Eagles, guys.